So we're on Heron Island and uh, we've got quite a number of our alumni uh, out on what's called a reef walk, taking what they've just learnt at the research station and out having a look at the corals. The UQ's Heron Island Research Station provides a facility for researchers and for students to learn about this reef and learn about all the facets of the island, how this island is formed, how the reef is formed. Not only is, is the research station used by our researchers at UQ, but it, it supports uh, researchers from all over Australia, but also international researchers. Because of course, understanding marine science, understanding marine health, understanding the health of our, our coral reefs is really important. But there's obviously a lot more uh, marine research that also takes place here. And therefore having facilities like this to allow that research to take place, critically important. The favourite part of the alumni weekend, I feel is uh, seeing the expression of the faces of the alumni being just overwhelmed with the beauty of the nature but also the facility of the Heron Island Research Station. It's just an enormous uh, opportunity to expose them to that. I've learned so many new things on this trip. I've loved to actually be educated at the same time as, you know, exploring. And that beautiful blend of education, enjoyment, wildlife, um, different experiences, I thought that was a really great combination for us to be able to go not only appreciate places but actually understand why it's so important to conserve places like, like Heron Island. Someone from the regions who's been to uni, been to UQ, to have this opportunity has been very exciting and quite humbling really, and then to bring my family along. Um, yeah, it's been quite special. We learn about the Great Barrier Reef and how at risk it is, and I really had known so little about it before I came, and, and to come up and be actually part of it, the scientists, all of them, have given us so much not just enthusiastically, but scientifically. So I felt I was gaining that knowledge and it's actually made me want to learn some more. The whole experience has been absolutely fantastic. It's something I would definitely recommend. I feel very privileged to be a part of this for the first time. And I, I really hope that they do it again so that other people can have the opportunity to have such a wonderful experience. It is, you know, wonderful to be able to really, I think, be giving back uh, to our alumni, but you know, I, we often think about how, you, how the university is performing, but in fact, the best way to determine how a university is performing is to, is to look at what our, our graduates and our alumni go on to achieve, uh, because it's, it's phenomenal. In Gladstone, we held one of our major uh, stakeholder events yesterday, which is really to hear from uh, government leadership, um, industry leadership, school leadership, in the regions to understand what else UQ can be doing uh, to help address you know, many of the issues uh, that our regions are facing. We've taken the opportunity to look out to 2032 and think about what the university looks like in 2032. And a, a core plank of that, that strategy is what we're calling the Queensland Commitment. And it's about ensuring that we are engaging broadly across our, our communities in Queensland. Uh, we know that we can do more, we are absolutely committed to doing more um, and that means really being out and about, engaging with our communities, understanding the issues uh, from um, the school sector that play such a critical role, understanding some of the impediments so that we can help to address them. <laughs>